Hello students. Today we will study artificial vegetative propagation. In previous video, you have studied vegetative propagation. It means the development of plants from root, stems or leaves. It means plants grow naturally from root, stem or leaves. Now this method can be carried out artificially also. And then it is called artificial vegetative propagation. Artificially, it is done by various methods like cutting, layering, grafting and tissue culture. So, we will discuss all these methods one by one. Let us discuss the first method that is cutting. Cutting is a very simple method. In this method, we take a piece of a stem and then we place that stem, we bury the portion of that stem under the soil after some days roots come out from the buried portion of the stem and thus a new plant develops from that cutting so it is a simple method this method is used in money plant you might have seen that we used to bring a cutting of money plant to grow rose chrysanthemum and china rose can be also grown by this method Second method is grafting. Grafting is a method to obtain the improved variety of plants or two different varieties on a same plant. Now what we do in this method? In this method we take one plant and we cut the stem to make a notch in it. This portion of a stem that is having roots that is already buried in the soil that is having roots in it this portion is called stock now we take one stem one stem cutting of another plant another plant of generally of the same species we used to take but different species can also be taken we take another plant as another stem and we make we cut the stem like this that it can fit in this notch easily, right? So we place this branch over this stem inside this notch and tie it with a tape. After a few days, a connection in their vascular bundles is maintained and this stem cutting grows on this plant. So suppose this method is very... Uh, common in rose plant so suppose you have one plant of red rose on that red rose you can place a stem of yellow or white rose so you can get red and yellow roses on the same plant so this method is called grafting third method is called layering in layering method what we do we bend a branch of a stem we take one branch of a stem which is nearer to the soil. We bend that branch. From that branch, if bark is there, we remove that bark from there. And we bury that branch, a portion of that branch under the soil. We place one wooden plank over it or something so that the uh, branch remains inside the soil. After a few days small roots comes out from that portion once the roots develop from that portion we cut it from here and we this new plant grows so from one plant a new plant can be grown simply by burying the stem under the soil so this method uh, is known as layering method Next method is called tissue culture. Tissue culture is a method in which the plants are produced under artificial medium, in vitro medium and in the laboratory under the control conditions. Now in this case what we do, we take some tissues of a plant and we place that tissues in test tube and that test tube is having the growing medium 
growing medium means it is having a liquid that that is having all the nutrients that are suitable for the growth of a plant so from that medium that tissues get nutrients and they start dividing and they form a mass of cell they divide and form new cells and finally they form a mass of cells and that mass of cells is known as callus now that callus is taken out from the test tube and now it is placed in the another medium that contains hormones in it now these hormones induces cell differentiation cell differentiation means now the cells differentiate specialized to form different activities different functions and forms a plantlet a small plant they form a small plantlet these plantlets develop into an independent plant and then they are transferred to the soil so this technique is known as tissue culture and this is carried out in orchids asparagus and chrysanthemum now this tissue culture method has some advantages and some disadvantages also advantages are that this is a very fast method of growing plants second advantage is that all the offsprings that are produced are exactly similar to their parent there are no variations they are the copies of their parents third is that the plant produced by vegetative propagation bear flowers and fruits earlier than the another cases and it is very useful method for production of seedless plants such as grapes and bananas some plants do not have seeds like grapes and bananas so they can be grown easily by this method of vegetative propagation now there are some disadvantages also disadvantages are that i already told you that the plants are identical to their parents so if there is any disease in a parent plant that will be transferred to whole of the plants that are produced by this method and that's why this method is disadvantages also